a very very long time not a tutorial but just like sitting down and doing my makeup in a very long time and I know that's what I wanted to do for you this week so here we are I've been trying to do my makeup every day this week just trying to see if I'm still loving certain products or if a few things need to be changed out I have gone back to a foundation I hadn't used in a very long time which is MAC uh, Studio Fix Plus this week and for some reason my skin was just looking super airbrushed, super flawless so I think it's the foundation what, what primer was I using though? Uh, I can't remember but um, I definitely want to get going with the makeup look so I'm just going to quickly pop on my brows. I'm using my Benefit Brow Styler. We're just going through my normal makeup routine and seeing what's happening. We're in level 4 lockdown. So that's something. And, and um, should I take this off? It's going to get so dirty. But I'm so cold it is cold out there guys um, this weather really just makes you want to either stay in bed or stay in pajamas all day long I feel like I need to update my makeup routine not my makeup routine but how I do my eyebrows I've been doing my eyebrows the same way for years and it's sort of one of those things where it's like if it's broke don't fix if it's not broke don't fix it but at the same time i just feel like there's other different things to try out the only reason i'm using this benefit styler is because i finished my mac bra gel cream <laughs> i've been using my benefits i mean my deal backstage Primer. and this is my favorite primer of all time I like primers that moisturize um, that hydrate if it does anything after anything else after that that's a bonus but this just gives my skin a very flawless my foundation a very flawless finish and I think it's the primer obviously the combination with the primer and the foundation but this seems to be the main reason why i have been loving the way my skin looks so i'm taking mac studio fix fluid in nc 47 and i've been using my real techniques um what brush is this called buffing brush um and buffing it into the skin as opposed to rubbing it I'm using MAC as well. This also might be the reason why I've been loving the way my skin looks. This is the MAC Studio Fix Concealer in NC45. Ben Nye Banana. It says Sasha Buttercup, but there's Ben Nye Banana in here because I hate the packaging of the Ben Nye powder. This does not work for me. Setting the rest of my base with my MAC Studio Fix powder. I'm rushing through this because this beginning part does not change is there a foundation or any makeup products out there that you guys want me to try um 
so that we can do a little video on it to do a little review so yeah comment down below if there is a makeup product that you guys want me to try that's like new on the market or you've never seen me review it doesn't have to be new on the market but something you've never seen me review i also want to pick up the laura mercier i've never tried the laura mercier foundation concealer and primer um my plan is to just to i've been wanting to go and just pick up my the setting powder that i usually use but um driving myself to the all the way to the mall sometimes just the thought just wears me out <laughs> so but when i do go i definitely want to pick up the um if you guys can see this wig here <laughs> i definitely want to pick up the powder the Romacia powder and the foundation and concealer and primer and see how they work together i've also seen that the arc beauty store has launched in certain and they have huda beauty there and i have never tried huda beauty foundation so that should be fun to do since it's actually now available in the country easily online or in store i'm just confused about which shade i should get i almost checked my checked out of the online store like store like almost purchased it but I realized that I was very confused about the foundation shade and you can't really return makeup. I just wanted to like, I wanted to do a smoky eye look today. I don't know if I can pull it off, especially because I probably should have done the smoke before. Is David Charles canceled? I don't know, please don't drag me. I don't know what's what what going on these days. Do I want to do like a dark, like a black smoky eye or do I want to do like a dark brown smoky eye? Let me start off with the transition, the transitional brown. Oh, that is pigmented. Okay, I'm taking a more concentrated brush. I'm scared of going like black, 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 you guys. Uh, let's risk it. <laughs> Yolo. I want to pack this all over my lid. I just haven't done a smoked out look in such a long time. I'm using my Sigma E25 brush. one eye done because my battery looks like it wants to die don't know why so let me just get one eye done just putting mascara this is the Lancome Genifique no <laughs> Lancome Hypnos Grandiose Hypnos Mascara let's just let that dry then I'm, I'll go over it with some liner but I basically want to get my second eye done off camera and then I'll be back with you guys straight after and this spritz my face while that's drying I'm gonna do my lips good MAC lady be good and JLo times a lot. Okay, guys, this is the finished look. Um, I feel like I'm part of the Adams family. I've never haven't done makeup this heavy in such a long time, but I was in the mood for a smoky eye. All to just take it all off again because there's nowhere to go to. <laughs> um otherwise i hope you guys liked this video um let me know down in the comments once again below what makeup stuff you want me to try what's new that you want me to try that i probably haven't tried 
that you haven't seen me use or it does have to be new but something that i just haven't seen me use otherwise i want to thank you guys so much for tuning in again watching this video and if you want to join our little family you can hit the subscribe button and put on the, the notification bell if you want to be notified whenever i upload a new video cool guys thank you so much for watching and see you soon Bye.